beautiful sunrise today. This is day two in Texas. Uh, we were at a lake. We're at a lake that we were at actually yesterday. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different. At least I will be. We're going to be doing a lot more top water this morning. That's why we got up early, you know, sunrise and whatnot. It's a little chilly out here. Not bad. It's nice and calm, so we should be able to catch them on, on some frogs, buzz baits, spooks. And then later, instead of flipping it like jigs and stuff, like with 65 pound braid like I did, I'm going to do kind of a little bit of a challenge and uh, try using a finesse rod. It should be good. It's a beautiful morning. Can't complain. But fishing, I'm thinking the fishing is going to be good. What do you guys think? Thanks, we pretty good. Oh, I think I think we're gonna crush it. I should probably set the hook on that fish, huh? Probably, yeah. I wasn't even I wasn't even looking. Not a bad fish. That's the first frog fish of the day. He ain't bad. He ain't bad. I'll take him. Good start. First, first fish, they just barely slurped it. He didn't even explode on it or nothing. I wasn't paying any attention. And I go to twitch my frog and it was underwater. There it is, first fish of the day. Jerry, see you later, bud. Wait, was there some grass on yours? <laughs> no, did something hit you? Yeah, something hit me in the head. <laughs> that might have been the actual legs. I don't think I got it that high, did I? There's one. He's coming slowly but surely. I'm water skiing them now. You know they're giant when you can water ski them. Whew. Squeaker. All right, second fish, see you, buddy. We need some bigger ones. We need some, we need some juicier, juicier largemouth. The big one? Woo! What do we got? Let's see, let's get let's get some back boat action here. That was on the, the plop daddy, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh shoot! <laughs> get him out of that tree. Get him out of that tree. You've got him pinned. That's a good fish, dude. Ooh, that big sexy. That big sexy dude. It's doing work. Oh, oh! There you swam his way out. He's close. He's close. There you go. That's a good fish. That's a good frog fish. Right there. Is that your first one? First fish of the day. First fish of the day. Slow morning, but starting to starting to get them kind of dialed in. Who? You good one? Slurp that thing. Is it a big one? Oh, 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 a little plop daddy fish. That's oh a good my one. God, he's big. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> are you gonna you're not gonna flip him, are you? Hell no, you gotta flip him. You best not be flipping him, boy. Oh, that is a good one. Uh oh, here we go. It's getting crazy, dude. I'm telling you, you, got, you guys, this fish have an attitude problem. Look at, look at him, look at him. He just got you soaking wet. Oh shoot! Oh god! Oh god! Yes, yeah, son. There you go. That's a good one. Hold that fish out. And we got another one. Oh, doubled up. He came off. Look at that. Look at that fish. That's a good plopper fish, dude. Nice. All right, guys. So we've been fishing for about an hour. We got Tyler's first. Look at that. That's a good fish. Oh, I do you, not have. You got me excited. You got me excited. That's that's the first one. What are you gonna name that one? This is Bill. Bill. All right. Yeah, Bill See Dance. you later, Bill. Bill Dance. Bill's good to go. All right. We uh, top water's coming too close to an end here. We're still getting a few bites. I've missed. I missed one good one, and I knew I didn't get a hook, get a hook set on him. Just. Frog fishing is one of those deals where like you have to be able to time it perfectly and it, he was too close to me by the time I set the hook. Just didn't work out, but we're going to we're going to we're going to try some different tactics. I might I'm either going to go shaky head or wacky rig sanko. Either way it's going to be finesse fishing in brush piles. So I'm probably going to break off a lot and get pissed and throw my rod and go full peric full peric mode, but we'll see. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with, we're done topwater fishing, sun's up, it's about 9 o'clock. 
I'm gonna start throwing some uh, shaky head and throw the little little June bug colored shaky head. Everyone else is kind of flipping and pitching jigs and you're throwing a Senko, right? Mm -hmm. Whack your egg Senko. So we're gonna try a few different things. Top water wasn't bad this morning. We caught fish, but they uh, we missed a lot of fish. So we're gonna see if we can capitalize on some more more flipping and pitching bites, land a few more fish, and then actually to, to later today we're actually gonna go hunting. But for now we're gonna try to catch some fish. Oh my God. Just right, right over there, kind of where you're at. Oh, all right. Yeah, whoa, good start. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good one. God, Spit that's it. A good fish. Dude, these fish are something that they got something in them today. They're just like, they're good at spitting them. All the way? Get out of here, boy. Woo! Oh. Never just freaked out so much over a 12 inch fish in my life. You guys don't know the struggle that I've been on right now. He just popped out. Like, for some reason, none of us can really hook fish very well today. We've missed. We've missed a lot. You just you just missed one. I just missed one. I just caught one. See, buddy. There's just something something in these fish today that are just preventing us from catching a bunch. I'm going with the shaky head for now. I'm sure if I miss a couple more fish, I might switch and do some Texas rigging or something. I wanted to go finesse. But these fish are just, they are not, they're not giving us any, any slack today. I like heard one thing, I looked back and you just like, it was like slow motion. There's one. Woo, baby. Decent one. It's better, it's better. God dang, these fish fight. Come here, little gal. Shake it, fish. I cast it in that bush probably 37 times before that fish actually ate it. Look at that. I guess the finessing, finessing might actually work today. Good little, good little fish there, probably two pounder. Jennifer, see you later. Shaky head fish, coming in clutch right there. Got him. Oh, dude, that's a big one. Oh, that's big Bertha right there. I got it, I got it, don't put, don't put. Oh, dude, she it, choked get it, get it, get it. that. She choked Woo! that jig. God dang, son. Fish could eat the GoPro. All right, we're getting a quick wait. 3.30. 3.30, that's a good fish. That's the biggest one so far. Biggest one so far. What are you naming that one? Bertha. Bertha? Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody names them Bertha. That's a good fish, dude. There she goes. Bertha choked that jig. I'm gonna stick with the shaky head. I wanna catch one more fish that shaky head. Then I might switch to like a swim bait. The wind's blowing pretty decent today, better than yesterday. So I'm gonna try kind of like a moving bait technique, but the way that fish ate that jig kind of gives me, kind of gets me a little bit excited. I don't wanna throw this rod, but it's look, like right Look, I think I have a fish. I do, look, see my line? Watch, ready? Oh. <laughs> Off of the tree. Oh, I got it out, dude. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> Oh man, I dangled my worm over the top of a tree. That's not a bad one either. That was funny. That little fish ate the worm out. It was dangling over the top of the tree. He ate that. See you later, Lucille. Stay pinned. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good one. Finally. Up here, girl. Woo! Smoke the jig. Look at that, a way to eat that. Finally, caught a little little jig fish. Nothing too massive, but we're actually, we're upgrading just a little bit. All right, Merle, see you later, bud. Two hours later. Well, folks, that is it for today's episode. Had a lot of fun. We're actually gonna go hunting tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna film it. I'm probably gonna take some cameras with me, but don't count on a video. Um, we're gonna be going after some hogs. And it's not that I don't wanna make a hog hunting video, but we're not really gonna be doing it in a way that like can be filmed. It's at night and I don't really have all the night vision stuff yet. 
Um, I do plan on doing a hog hunt fairly soon, hopefully within the next couple of months, like where you can actually like watch, you know, us shoot hogs and stuff like that. But we're just going to kind of kick it tonight and relax. Um, you know, shoot some stuff, maybe maybe do a little bit of catfishing, something along those lines. Like I said, I'll film it and if it ends up coming out good, then I'll make a video, but don't count on it. Tomorrow we're fishing a new lake, because you saw us fish two lakes back to back, and they, it was a pretty fire lake, not gonna lie, but we're gonna, we're gonna fish something new tomorrow, and then I'm headed back to Texas. And Rob called me, and I guess we might be going to Tennessee this week. I was planning on staying in Texas for like three or four more days, but I guess he wants to go to Tennessee because the fishing's good. So I may end up doing that. So I don't really know what to tell you guys to expect coming up other than I will be fishing. Uh, definitely will be doing a little bit more fishing. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate all the support. Like I said, anyone that buys anything from the Flare Gear Shop, you guys get entered to win a $250 favorite Rush rod. And uh, that's just any purchase on the website, any any apparel purchase that's on the website. And that ends at the end of April. So if you guys are looking to get a hat or a shirt or anything, make sure you do it before the end of April in order to be entered to win a favorite rod. Thank you so much for watching and peace. I'd like to fish with a finesse worm, but we've also missed a lot of fish. And so I don't know if the finesse worm's gonna be the best bet, especially when you get it caught in trees. Oh, dude, sick, sick, sick.